The entire city was still asleep. Mayhul and scientist Bull Bulea were engaged in a conversation about the gas launcher, but then Mayhul hears a beeping sound. There's a bomb here. Open your secret room immediately. They entered the room and a huge bomb blast kills the house. Someone had planted a bomb in order to kill them. Scientist, we have to ready the antidote of the gas as soon as possible. We managed to save our lives today, but tomorrow might not be the same. I have asked Dr. Sunjana to start working on it instantly. Just then, Mayhul hears a helicopter. He looks outside the window only to find three of them hovering above the house. Seems like Jaikal's army is here to kill us again. He grabs a telescope from the lab and decides to use to gauge the number of people against them. There were three windows in front of him. Can you guess from which of these should Mayhul stake out? A, B, or C? Notice that there is no roof above the first window, he will be clearly visible to the enemies from here. Look at the third window, it has a roof and it's close to a tree. From here, Mayhul can easily look at all the three helicopters without being spotted. Hence, he should choose this one. He carefully places the telescope on the third window and sees that several men surrounded the building and were fully armed. He also recognized Surya, Jaikal's best friend in one of the helicopters. Just then, Surya spots Mayhul and exclaims. He is still alive. Mayhul then tells the scientist that he needs ammunition to face the Jaikal army. The scientist then brings out two revolvers with blasting bullets. This meant that whatever surface the bullets came in contact with, exploded within seconds. Suddenly, Surya and all of Jaikal's army start open firing on Bull Balea's house. The only way for Mayhul and the scientist to escape was through those three windows. Can you guess which one of these should Mayhul choose? Think properly and let me know your answer in the comments below. There is a stack of hay under the first window, if he jumps from here, he won't get hurt. Below the second window is wet mud, he won't get hurt here too. But, he will be clearly visible to the Jaikal army from both these windows. They will open fire on Mayhul with no bounds. Since the third window is shadowed by a tree, he can easily move out from here without being noticed. Scientist, I am leaving. Lock all the windows immediately after I leave. Mayhul jumps towards the tree, leaps on a branch and climbs onto the top. He starts firing from this hidden spot, aiming towards Jaikal army's helicopters. He targets the blades of the helicopter and strikes, causing a loud blast. It loses balance and starts falling to the ground. It makes way towards a tree and crashes into it, boisterously. Just as Mayhul was about to target the second helicopter, he is spotted by Surya. He throws a hand grenade towards Mayhul. He is left with no option but to jump from the tree and the grenade explodes in the air. As a result of falling from a great height, Mayhul is injured. All this while, Surya keeps bombarding Mayhul with bullets. Mayhul somehow manages to crawl and hide behind a tree. On the other hand, Dr. Sanjana was at the lab, leaving no stone unturned to make the antidote. Dr. Sanjana draws out blood from one of the members of the Jaikal army and moves to the other room to test it. Just then, one of them gains consciousness. He picks up a big scissor kept on the side table and slowly itches towards Alia. Even though she was busy with the game, she was able to notice the man coming towards her on the screen. She turns, get up from the chair and kicks him so hard that he flies off to the other side. She injects him and makes him doze off again. Dr. Sunjana hands over an injection to Alia, which was filled with 5 milliliters of dosage and was capable of rendering a person unconscious for 8 whole hours. The doctor planned to make them sleep for 16 hours each. How many injections will Alia need to make each of them sleep for 16 hours? Can you guess? Think and let me know your answer in the comments. Let's now look at the answer. If one injection of 5 milliliters is capable of rendering one of them unconscious for 8 hours, then, for 16 hours, each will require 2 injections. And since there are 5 men, 2 times 5 is 10. Hence, Alia will need 10 injections. Alia injects all of them, one by one. They were now in a deep sleep for 16 hours and Alia is back to enjoying the detective IQ game on her phone.
On the other side, the firing outside the scientist's house hadn't stopped for even a second. Bull Bolea was scouring through gadgets to help Detective Mayhul. Surya pulls out his sniper gun and targets Mayhul strategically. Fortunately, the bullet misses Mayhul, but just by an inch. Mayhul knew that hiding was not going to bring about any result. So he bravely comes to the foreground and starts shooting in the air towards Jaikal Army's helicopters. Luckily, one of the bullets hit the helicopter, resulting in a massive explosion. Surya was extremely enraged and started resorting to bombs and grenades, instead of guns, beside Mayhul, injuring him brutally. He struggles to get up but fails. Just then, Surya's helicopter is seen racing towards Mayhul. Mayhul was badly injured due to the bomb thrown by Jaikal's best friend Surya. He was bleeding profusely and his clothes were now torn from all sides. He was lying on the floor, unable to move and growling in pain. Meanwhile, Surya brings out his helicopter over Mayhul's head and starts laughing. Mayhul, no one can save you now. Get ready to die. I have to do something. If I don't survive, then who will save the city? Just then, Mayhul spots a wooden stick next to him. He grabs and throws it high in the air. It hits the blades on the helicopter and ends up disbalancing it. To save himself, Surya jumps out of the helicopter while it rams into a tree and crashes on the ground. Owing to the Great Fall, Surya was rendered unconscious. Taking advantage of the situation, Mayhul walks up to Surya and breaks his neck, killing him then and there. After this, Mayhul starts running out of there immediately. Can you guess why? Why did Mayhul choose to escape, instead of patting Surya down and looking for clues? Look at the pummeled helicopter next to Surya's dead body. Notice that fuel is leaking out of it. This means it can explode any time. Mayhul's whole body was stiff and injured, but he was somehow trying to limp out of there. Just then, the helicopter lights on fire and boomingly blows it. A part of it flies out and hits Mayhul on the head. This knocked Mayhul out immediately. On the other hand, Bull Bulea was lost in thought. It's been an hour since I last heard any noise. I'm pretty sure Mayhul has destroyed the Jaikal army by now. I should go and check it out. He moves out of the house and couldn't spot Mayhul, but he still understands that the Jaikal army had been vanquished. But how? Can you guess? The scientist remembered that the Jaikal army had come with three helicopters and could see all three of them, demolished on the ground. He was left utterly stunned when he suddenly spots Mayhul, injured and passed out, on the ground. Without wasting another second, the scientist carried him to his lab and administered him with an ultra-powered injection, through which Mayhul regains consciousness. Scientist, you need to take me to Dr. Sunjana immediately. My knee is hurt very badly. They somehow managed to reach the lab, but the door was locked using a logical password. Look at these pictures carefully. Can you guess which one of these is the odd one out? It's the moon, since all other pictures are of planets and the moon is Earth's natural satellite. Bull Balea clicks on the moon's picture, opens the door and carries him inside. Alia looks at Mayhul's condition and was so stunned that she drops her phone on the floor and rushes to give him a shoulder. Dr. Sunjana runs towards them too. She was teary-eyed, looking at Mayhul's distorted body. Alia starts tearing up too. Stop crying and start treating me instantly. We have the whole city to save. They carefully place him on the operation table and Dr. Sunjana begins the treatment. She gives him the general anesthesia and starts operating on his knee. On the other side of the wall, a robot enters the room. Let me throw this robot out. Alia wait, don't touch it, this is a robot bomb. It has a time bomb fitted inside it, which can blast at any moment. Mayhul sir is still in surgery, you will have to do something. Without wasting a moment, Bull Balea puts on his rubber gloves and uses a screw instrument to detach the frontal part of the robot. The bomb was attached using multiple wires, but one of these connections are wrong. Which one? Can you guess? Think properly and let me know your answers in the comments below. The fourth one has a faulty wiring. Food is required for the upkeep of a person. Fuel is required for the upkeep of a car. And bat ball is required for the upkeep of the cricket sport. But, the road is not responsible for the upkeep of a bike. Hence, this sequence is wrong. 
Bolbolea scientist understands this immediately and cuts the black wire to defuse the bomb. Sir, I had heard a lot about you. Today, I have even witnessed your excellence. Next, Alia, Dr. Sunjana and scientist Bolbolea wait for Mehul to regain consciousness post his surgery. Two hours later, Mehul finally comes back to his senses. Soon, Dr. Sunjana gives him a pink tablet, then a blue tablet, and then a white tablet. But that's not all, Mehul is required to eat one more pill. Dr. Sunjana is giving these pills based off of a pattern. So, can you guess which one of these could be the next tablet in line? A, B, C, or D? Think and let me know your answer in the comments below. Notice that all the tablets handed over to Mehul are round in shape. Hence, this pill will be the next in line. Dr. Sunjana makes him gobble it down and asks him to rest. No doctor, the city is in trouble. I can't afford to waste any more time. Tell me, where are we with the details of the antidote? Did you gain any information through the blood of men of Jaikal army? She then explains to Mehul that a special DNA had been used to create the antidote. Formulating it without the special DNA belonging to a specific person would not be possible. Just then, Bulbulea chimes into the conversation. When Mehul caught Jaikal five years ago, I kept some of his hair strands in my lab. We should try to match both the DNAs. Suddenly Mehul receives a call. It's my informant. This means he is safe from the bomb blast. But how? Come to Dr. Sunjana's office immediately. I am hurt and injured. We have to save the entire city. Soon, Mehul's informant walks inside the room. He has a huge hat and tinted glasses on. Sir, at least 10 to 15 of our men are absolutely fine and healthy. They are currently in a hideout within the city. We had a special mask which helped us save ourselves. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Contact everyone and build a Mehul army. We have to defeat Jaikal at any cost. Next, Bolbolea and the informant proceed towards the scientist's house, but he had created a maze to reach it. Can you guess which one of the roads should they choose? A, B, or C? Let me know your answer in the comments below. Root B reaches the house, somewhat like this. They pick the correct road and reach the scientist's house. Bulbalea presents the informant with various guns and ammunition and also numerous biscuit bombs. These are biscuit bombs. They look like ordinary biscuits, but they explode as soon as someone steps on them. From there, Bulbalea and the informant disperse from each other's company. The informant leaves to contact the Mehul army and Bulbalea carries Jaikal's hair strand DNA back to Dr. Sunjana's office. He also took some biscuit bombs and a special gun with him. He then hands them over to Mehul. But just then, a man follows the scientist inside the lab. How did he guess the password to the lab? Who is he? Mehul immediately figures out that he wasn't a human, but a robot. How? Can you guess? Notice the marks left by him on the ground. They don't look like footsteps, but like wheels. Mehul gets up from the bed and calls out for Alia. Alia, use your karate skills and kick him out instantly. But before she could do anything, the robot releases a green-colored gas which spread all across the room. Will this chemical gas be the cause of Mehul, Alia, Dr. Sunjana and scientist Bolbolea's death? Or will Mehul and his team manage to survive? Will the informant be able to save the day with the help of Mehul army? Let's find out in the next episode. Thank you.